Alright, check this out. Here we have the Asus Zephyrus G14 with an 8-core Ryzen 5900HS, a 60-watt 3060, and a 144Hz Full HD display. This video will demonstrate thermal and frame rate performance in Battlefield 5 using ultra settings with a 90 degree field of view and the G14's manual software settings to max out the power sliders and maximum fan speed. Starting with the firing range to get a 15 minute heat soak, frame rate performance is significantly faster than the previous G14 with its 65 watt 2060 and right in line with a 115 watt 2060 and slightly behind a 90 watt 2070 Super. The wattage of the G14's 5900HS is interesting as it has not leveled off at 35 watts shown from the G15 I recently reviewed. Thermals look good here and that's a byproduct of the lower wattage GPU, sharing heat from a 60 watt 3060 versus an 80 watt 3070 gives the 5900HS some thermal headroom. I featured this heat exchange with the G15 when its 80 watt 3070 was stuck at 55 watts in a previous video. Now taking this into a 64 player conquest server really stretches a CPU's legs. Thankfully the Zephyrus G14 with its 60 watt 3060 allows its 5900HS to pull higher wattage with a combined CPU and GPU load. This will help reduce the CPU bottleneck in today's test. I was hopeful that Asus took the time to test their product and I'm very pleased to see this. The GPU in the low 70s is great and the CPU is getting close to 90 degrees Celsius, but it's also pulling 45 watts. Battlefield 5's multiplayer will bring any powerful laptop PC to its knees as it stresses the CPU, memory, and graphics card. The Rotterdam map is an absurd example of this, where GPU utilization is often compromised as this map is very CPU intensive. While the GPU is not fully saturated all of the time, it's got a much better chance than a lower wattage 5900HS. As someone who's very comfortable with how hardware reacts to these titles, I'm happy with these results.